we're in the Castle Hills area looking at a little detail here that we're putting on a cedar deck. You know, cedar's beautiful and it's expensive nowadays especially, but you want to make the most out of it? Well then, let's look and see what Dan's going to do here with this, this type of fastener. You don't see any fasteners in here. Dan, show us how you, how you do this. Do you put this either way? Uh, the best way is when you're coming up from this way, uh, you, you'll put it on there. Let it loose. Ah, okay. <clears throat> and just use it to uh, specialize yeah. screws. Just lock it in there and then screw it in, huh? Wow. Just like that. Yeah. And look, look at this finish. I mean, there are no visible fasteners. Even when you look down here close, Justin can get in here and look at this one. Look at that. That's a tiny little hole. That's a tiny little hole here. That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful deck. So, what are we doing here? Wrapping it all? We're wrapping it all up. You gonna nail all these up today? I'm gonna try. All right. <laughs> so I see y'all pre-stained it all. Tell us why you, you pre-stained all the wood. It's uh, anything like that, it, it's real hard for um, to get the stain into the right places. It's, uh, it, this is gonna get it all wrapped up again one more time. Like this, <clears throat> you, you're not gonna get all the, the stain where you want it to get it. So. Oh, because it overlaps? Right. Oh, does this go, does this go all in here too, like that? <clears throat> all over it, over the other ones? Like that? Right. Oh, okay, great. So that's why you, that way you were able to get the stain underneath it. Good. And so all you'll do is touch up the ends? Well, no, actually it has a one by two on the, on the outside. Oh, and cool. That's it. And so we, just, we have everything pre-stained to save time. And, and plus this stain, as you can see, it really penetrates. You can see right here that it penetrates deep into the, into the wood. And that means that it's gonna keep resisting moisture and it's gonna keep the wood more supple and uh, less likely to crack. With this Texas heat, that's gonna make a big difference. So, how long does it take before it's not all over your hands? It don't take that long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have to keep, <coughs> we, you have have to, to wear some, we have to wear some gloves and stuff, so. Okay, until you get <clears throat> to the finish point, right? Correct. Well, that looks awesome. I love the angles that y'all, that was designed on this. It really looks nice. Well, I won't stop you anymore. Keep up the good work. Thank you.